Hello guys, it's a short video to show you how to install the Sabre fake dump valve. When you first receive your Sabre, it should look something like this. The Sabre compression unit, stainless steel bracket for mounting the micro switch, a bag of terminals, fuse holder, cable ties, micro switch and some bolts, and also a full colour instruction manual which has photos and instructions and also a wiring diagram on the back. Now this is the main Sabre compression unit. Um, this is a bit that makes all the sound. It comes in a high gloss carbon fibre effect unit. I'll try and zoom in for you. And this is the actual compression unit itself. It's basically a high powerful tweeter. Um, it has a, a hard cone so you can't poke your fingers through it or anything. Um, it's very powerful, water resistant and very heavy, almost 2 kilograms. Uh, now this unit is water resistant um, and can also withstand extreme heat um, and extreme cold weather. So whether you live in the North Pole um, or somewhere hot like Spain um, or Florida, um, it can you know, easily handle your country um, and it will be very reliable and won't have any problems. Uh, now the unit, um, the actual circuit board in the Sabre is contained in the lower half of this unit. You've got the speaker which is quite deep um, then you've got the circuit board at the bottom. Um, so it's a self-contained unit and it only comes with three wires, red, black and a blue wire. So it makes it very quick and easy to install into your vehicle. Okay. We'll go over to the vehicle. Step one is to obviously fit the speaker unit into your car. Uh, this is my own car, it's a Lexus IS200. Now when you're fitting the compression unit, you need to find a good place to mount the unit itself. Um, ideal places um, are behind the headlight, normally you've got plenty of room behind here. Um, or the perfect place is behind the front bumpers in the corner. Um, this side and this side, basically where your fog lights would normally be. You can mount it in the middle as well um, if you've got plenty of room, um, but obviously on this car I've cut my middle out so I can't put it there. But any make and model, there's always plenty of room in these far corners. Now what I'll do is I'll just bend down through the wheel and try and show you. What I've done is there's the compression unit itself. Um, on my Lexus here, to save a bit of time with this video, um, I've obviously already pre-installed this Sabre um, and obviously that is the speaker box there. Now on my Lexus I've actually installed the XL version um, which comes with two compression units, makes it twice as loud and behind this speaker there's also another one just in the background there. So this has actually got two compression units on it. Now once you've mounted your compression unit, obviously we need to run the wires through through the vehicle to the battery. And I'll show you down here, the, the speaker unit and compression unit is under here obviously. And what you've got, I'll show you this. Um, this is the ferrite ring. It already comes pre-installed on, on the Sabre. Um, and this must not be removed at any point. This is very important. Um, the Sabre itself um, can pick up interference easily from your vehicle. Um, and this ferrite ring stops that interference so at no point remove this ferrite ring must stay in place at all times Now, just for this video I've done this rather quick um, and I've left the wires on the show so you can see exactly where I've mounted them um, and I've mounted the wires all the way along the front down the wing and obviously directly to the battery now the reason I've left them right at the very front here or fitted them to the very front is um, for interference problems um, this basically keeps the wires as far away as possible from your spark plugs, the coil packs and your HT leads. And it also keeps it away from the alternator. So the further you can fit the wires away from your alternator and your spark plugs and coils, um, the better it will be. Um, and along with the ferrite ring, you shouldn't really have any problems. Um, it's just a few vehicles out there, uh, Rover MGZRs, um, they can pick up interference from the Rovers, um, but Lexuses and most other vehicles don't normally have a problem. Um, but if you try and keep the wires as far away from possible, um, that will certainly help the situation. Okay, and the wires come down here. And like I say, you've got only three wires. You've got red and black, 
which obviously go directly to the battery. Don't fit them into your fuse box, don't wire them into your headlights, um, just fit them directly to your battery. Black wire goes to the negative or the earth, um, and the red wire goes to the positive side of the battery. Now with the kit you also receive obviously the fuse, and um, please remember to fit this fuse. Um, but you'll notice the Sabre hasn't got any switches. It's um, obviously wired directly to the battery, which means if I press the micro switch, it will sound. Um, but the uh, Sabre is very um, unique. Um, it's got a little cut-off switch built inside the unit, so it won't drain your battery. Um, once the Sabre has made the sound, within 0.6 of a second, it physically turns itself off. Um, so wiring it, hard wiring directly to your battery won't burn out the Sabre, um, won't drain your battery. Um, and won't cause any harm. So um, don't please don't wire it into your stereo, your ignition switch, or fuse box. Wire it directly to your battery. It's quick and easy, and um, that'll be perfectly safe. Okay, the next step is to obviously fit the micro switch. Now I'll try and zoom in as best I can on this on here. This is the micro switch. This is the bit that operates the sabre. Obviously you've got the stainless steel bracket here which we showed you earlier. Um, it's a very strong bracket and very long, it's 12 inches long. So please feel free to bend it, twist it, cut it, um, do whatever you need to do to obviously make it make contract, contact with your uh, throttle butterfly. And you'll see if I just zoom in, that is yeah, that is the small little leg on the micro switch, that is the bit that makes contact. Um, this micro switch, the micro switch, um, obviously fitting the compression unit and the wiring is very quick. Probably takes you 15, 20 minutes. Um, this micro switch, um, fitting this micro switch, will take you maybe, maybe half an hour, 30 minutes. And depends on you make a model. Um, on my Lexus here, I fitted this in about 15 minutes, no problems. And fitting the complete Sabre unit should only take you about 35 minutes. Depends on the make and model. Um, obviously, some of the vehicles are a little bit harder. Uh, Peugeot 306 is very easy. Obviously, it's Lexus is easy. Subarus are very easy. Um, I know a couple that are very tricky. You've got the Vauxhall Corsas. They take me about an hour and a half to fit. Um, you've got uh, some of the later Focuses, um, 0708 plate. Um, they do do take about an hour and a half as well. Um, but yeah, you should be able to fit a Sabre, no problems in an hour, hour and a half, no worries. Okay, so hopefully I've showed you enough of this micro switch as best I can. What I'll do is I'll just turn the ignition on and I'll show you exactly how that micro switch works. Right, just hold the camera with my other hand. Okay, so here we've got a throttle, and this is a throttle cable. As you're driving along, you hit full throttle, it makes contact with that pin. And then when you release the full throttle to change gear, you get the sound. And you're driving along again, full throttle, release the change gear, and you get the sound again. And that happens every time you change gear from, from full throttle. The good thing with the Sabre is if you're just cruising along, you're just driving normally, or stuck in a traffic jam, it won't make contact. It's only when you hit full throttle, um, you're thrashing your car hard, or you're driving hard, or you want someone to hear it, you hit full throttle, then you release, and that's when you get the sound. Uh, don't worry about the buzzing. Um, the buzzing is actually coming from uh, my motorised throttle body on here. Um, Lexus does unfortunately have a motorised throttle body, so I don't want anyone thinking that that buzzing sound is coming from the Sabre. Uh, the Sabre itself doesn't make any sound at all when it's connected. The only time you'll get the sound is obviously uh, when you hit full throttle. I'll just turn the ignition off. Now I've showed you how to fit the micro switch onto the throttle body, um, and doing it this way on the throttle bodies in the engine bay is the quickest. Um, it's nice and easy, it keeps all the wires in the engine bay, and you don't have to go through the bulkhead um, or anything like that. So if you can do it on your car, if you've got a throttle cable um, or a throttle butterfly, if you fit the Sabre in or the micro switch in the engine bay on the throttle body, uh, this is the best way to do it. But there are some cars out there, like I said earlier, uh, the Vauxhall Corsa is one of them, um, or some of the later cars um, which have what we call a fly by wire system. 
it basically means it doesn't have a throttle cable um, and the micro switch must be fitted inside the car um, on the throttle pedal now what I've got over here we've got a throttle pedal already to show you how to fit the micro switch if you want to fit or if you have to fit the micro switch inside the car now this is a throttle pedal from a Toyota Yaris we haven't modified it in any way um, the only thing we've done is obviously mounted it on the stainless steel plate and um, well aluminium plate sorry um, and what we've done is we've obviously got the stainless steel bracket again with the micro switch and we've bent cut it and twisted it turn this around bent it twisted it and uh, to make contact with the top of the throttle pedal and I'll just show you as you're driving along as you're driving along I'll just try to get a better angle as you're driving along you hit full throttle makes contact and when you release from full throttle that'll be when you get the dump valve sound so if you're driving along normally no sound at all you're doing a three point turn or you're pulling into your house at three o'clock in the morning you don't want to wake up neighbours no contact when you hit full throttle and only on full throttle then you release a change gear that'll be when you get the sound um, and this is what you need to do to fit the micro switch if you've got a fly by wire system um, which a lot of the later newer cars does do have um, um, or some other vehicles as well or if this is just your preferred way of fitting it by all means you can do it this way to to any make and model Right, well, I hope this video helps, um, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.